Okay guys, welcome back to our part two of the unboxing video. In the previous one, we just finished off with the purple kiwi bird, so how about we start with the purple chameleon this time. I really like the purple chameleon. I was hesitant about the toucan at first because it looks pretty similar to a toucan that we've already received in the past. However, I really like, this is actually not the same blue as the one um, from the past. It's actually a little bit of a different, it's more pastel-y. As well, this one has a little star on it. So I think the star indicates that it is a sassiest pet. So that's similar to the axolotl that I have back here. I also did want to do an axolotl comparison, which I could do in a little minute. Because I just wanted to compare how much more detail the trio pack axolotl has than the duo pack. I feel like Littlest Pet Shop or Basic Fun put a lot more effort into the trios. But I'm not sure. Maybe it was just for that pack specifically. So first up, we've got this toucan. And I'm really liking how this, it's kind of like an indigo. And it goes really well with the light blue, which matches his eyes perfectly. This is actually really nice colors as well. His beak is very cute. He's got a nice yellow belly. You know what? He has a lot of colors. So this pack, I would say, has a lot of detail. I guess it's just the pink axolotl that didn't have as much detail as I was expecting. He's got like cute little stars on his wings, which was hard to see from the box, but um, that's a cute little detail. He does have them on both of his wings. And uh, yeah, his feet are just normal. Overall, he's just a cute toucan. The chameleon, oh, I was so excited for this. As you guys know, I really like the reptiles, all of the detail that they have. And this one is definitely the same. I'm seeing here now that I'm unpacking it, it actually has eyelashes more than I uh, had in expected. As well, if you guys want to watch this at like two times speed, absolutely go for it. I, when I was rewatching it back, I rewatched it at two times speed, honestly. Um, there's no way for me to <laughs> go faster opening these up. I'm just uh, not that great at it. Maybe by the time I've spend all my money I will have more oh you guys are gonna be so excited for the back of the chameleon's head this is definitely not something that you could see before so we've got the chameleon here and um the time of day is putting a lot of shadows but on the back of the head it actually goes down like that so it's not something I was expecting it's kind of the shape of the hungriest pet logo I'm not sure if he is a hungry's pet, if that's what that's about. But look at the detail. He's got, like, such detailed little hands, and that's exactly what chameleon hands are actually like. He's got those grooves on his chin. He's got those grooves on his eyebrows. And he's even got grooves underneath, like, like he's tired or something. And he's got some uh, long eyelashes. The LPS there is in teal. He's got teal and red stripes. He has a lot of detail. I would say that... This set is actually really good. And the texture of the back spine, I love it. I love. And his little foot there is all open like a real chameleon. Very good quality. I definitely like the chameleon. So the chameleon comes with this little painting. It's kind of like um, Pascal from Tangled. It's like little chameleon and, you know, they like art. Also comes with some carrots. I'm not sure. Do chameleons eat carrots? Does anyone have a pet chameleon? And it comes with a paintbrush so that he can paint. So that's super cute. That's a great toy for anyone. They could have like a little artist shop for that. Next up, we can take these possums. Well, the possum and the llama off the top. I actually really like the gray and white llama. It's simple, realistic. I really like it. I just realized we did not get the card out of the back of the chameleon one. So I could grab that out real quick. Are you guys like all over the cards? How are you feeling about the cards? Because, um, I don't know. Obviously, I'm not here for the cards specifically, but I think they're cute. This one, again, is a little bit bent, but we got the toucan here. And um, he's got the little star, which makes sense because he's also got the stars on his wings. So I do think they messed up on the Jack Russell that I had before because it was um, he had a heart on his body but a star on his card. So maybe that was a mess up. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can uh, pull it out of this box. 
box with the llama and the possum, see what card we've got. So I think it's like a 50-50 if we're going to get the possum or the llama card. Although some of the cards have rarity symbols, so maybe one is more rare than the other one. Here we've got the llama, and it has a heart. It's friendliest. I can actually see from this picture that it has a heart on its body. I didn't notice that before. And um, that's cute, the background, because they actually, like, wear those in real life sometimes. So that's cute. And once again, it comes with a little collector's package, and it comes with a yellow token, because it was around um, $11 Canadian, which is on the lower end for some of the things that they have. As a reminder, the Toys R Us exclusives, which I did not find in the stores, are actually double the price despite still being only two pets. And they have like um, a photo booth thing, kind of like the postcard pets in the past used to. But honestly, I feel like maybe a $5 increase would have been sufficient instead of double. But I think... I don't know, Toys R Us or Basic Fun like knew they could get more money out of exclusives and did that on purpose, which is a little rude. Oh, look at that. That heart is so profound, so cute. It's got the hearts on both sides of its body, which is super cute. It just has such a lovable face. It's got kind of like bunny ears and it's really cute. It's got like beige hoofs, even though the rest of it is um, great. Even its, its nose is kind of heart shaped in the way that they painted it with the beige. So actually, great job. I definitely agree that this would be a friendliest pet. Like, it seems very friendly. Here we've got the possum. So I know the original possum, you know, it was gray and pink. And this one is uh, more pink. I don't see any gray on it, really. This one is uh, really in there. Hmm. I wonder if I could take it out with one hand. Show you guys some other things in the other hand or not. Alright, we'll leave it in there for a second. I will uh, recuper it after. So this is the axolotl comparison that I just wanted to do. You can see that this one has the stars on its body and it also has like such ombre details. Ombre, you know, it's like the yellow is fading into the orange. It's not defined. It's more like artistic and then this one it just it has the stars on the gills and then it has nothing else and there's no ombre on the tail so i think that this axolotl here is definitely more detailed than this axolotl here their eyes though look like the exact same i don't see well actually this one has like the the white dots in both and this one only has it in one so i don't know if that was like an accident or if that's on purpose so I guess their eyes are a little bit different, but they're definitely like similar colors. But anyway, I love the axolotls. I wonder how many more they will be making in like for the rest of the year or the rest of the future. Okay. This possum might be the one that I'm not able to get out for this video. It's got some binoculars with it. These are all tied in really good. If you guys see online at Toys R Us that the Littlest Pet Shops are available and you don't see them on the shelves, if they're available online, that means it is in the store. So... If you're feeling up to it, you could ask for them to maybe check the back. That's what I did two days ago, and I was able to get some, but they didn't have all of them. And then today I went in and they were officially on the shelves. So we've got a little visor there. And we've got some binoculars. Yeah, I got binoculars in another set uh, a couple of days ago, but these ones are red. So that's, that's a nice color. It's not really like a bright red. It's kind of like a... I want to say a nail polish, like pinky red. It's kind of like the pinkish that was in the wolf cat's ears from earlier. Okay, so this possum is actually impossible. Maybe that's impossible. Oops, could that be a thing? Oh, it liked my pun. That's good. Thank you, possum, for that. So, I guess I'll call this possum a girl for now. 
okay so I'm liking the grooves on the tail but they didn't paint it so I'm not sure what that's about but you can see there's some grooves on the tail and it spirals so it's definitely detailed but I'm not sure why they didn't paint like between the grooves on the tail because if they put the work into making it may as well like accentuate it oh it's got little hearts in its ears so this is a friendly's pet as well it's like holding its hands together that's cute and I think something that possums actually do did you guys hear about someone getting a possum in their fake Christmas tree that's going on right now you've got a little flower for it to sit on I guess that sitting on the flower I can have a little uh, the visor might not be for the possum I think the visor's for the llama but I can hold on to the binoculars with its tail super cute we'll put the visor on the llama and there we go as you can see MJ's also eating some food there that was from the kiwi bird set I didn't get a chance to show you guys the food, but I didn't think starting off a video with food would be that exciting. Okay, so we've got a fish here and a wolf. I love the detail on this fish. They always do a great job on that model of fish. Um, I know I have one that's like a pink shiny one. I feel like that fish, it's got to be fancy. Like, you can't just give that fish solid color with no detail and there we go my card is that fish so that's awesome won't bother with the token we already know about that so this fish actually kind of matches the radio which is interesting like how's a fish listening to the radio i guess i don't know maybe this fish is like in a bowl in a restaurant at a sushi restaurant that's what i'm gonna go with but this doesn't look like a fish that you'd eat it's too fancy so I think it's just decorative. I like the purple eyes. So the purple eyes are different than the rest of its body. But look how fancy that is. It is so fancy. The tail, beautiful. It like curves out at the bottom. So detailed. The eyes, like I said, the eyes are like a deep purple. And then its lips and its gills and its fins are like a light purple. And the LPS symbol is in green. Just like this, which actually means it's a chilliest pet. Which... Is interesting it definitely looks like it would like warm water to me but i guess it likes cold water and then we got the wolf the wolf makes sense that it would like cold water because like wolves i typically think of wolves in like alaska and places like that especially like this is a gray wolf so that makes more sense i hope i'm correct in calling it a wolf I love the fur. We've already established that. This one has a weird noise to it. I don't know if you can hear, but there's kind of like a plastic clickiness to it. So, like, it's got the bobble, but it's a little bit different. And it's got the pink in its mouth, which is great. And it's got blue eyes. And it's got, I don't know what that symbol in its ears is supposed to be. Maybe it's not really a symbol. Maybe it's supposed to be chilliest. I don't know. It doesn't have any symbols on it, really, but... I like it it's a cute pet i don't think there's one like this out already so props to them it's pretty basic but i think it's it's good and then there's sushi which is funny because it came with a fish but i'm gonna say this is like cucumber and shrimp sushi so interesting that one's also a little bit of the harder plastic like we saw in the previous video and it comes with a little thing for them to sip on sip sip radio is just like how they were before um the same mold as the old lps radios and last but not least for this video we will do the horse and the woodpecker so the horse is as i believe a clydesdale you can see the mold is different than the old horse molds because it's got like more fur like it's a bigger horse which i'm not sure i think i like the old one better honestly like it has the price of horses have existed before but i just i like the original mold maybe for the nostalgia i don't know i'll unwrap her anyway so she's the friendliest pet because she's got the hearts on her ankles and I threw the box already but um, I can try and get what card 
was in there and show that to you guys. She's got like chocolate around and light brown. It's actually a good like winter vibe, I think, with like hot chocolate and the LPS matches it. Actually, I'm beginning to really like the vibe of this horse. It's kind of like a cozy horse. And the card. Okay, found the card. They make it very difficult by doing this. I guess they really like don't want you to know what card you're getting before you buy. They just want you to be surprised. It looks like it is a collection manual, not what you're looking for. It is a horse. So she's friendliest, like I said. And that is her card. I'm gonna get stuff out of the way before we get to the woodpecker. So when I first saw this woodpecker, I was like, that is exactly like a little cut drop that I already have. Why did they just recreate the exact same one? But this one's actually uh, darker and it's more of like a teal. Like the other one was kind of like a light blue. This one I would say is more turquoise or teal. And that's kind of the only difference. Like its colors are just darker. I'm not sure if I want to say brighter, but definitely like darker. Like it's more colorful and the LPS on the back is the lighter blue and it's same as its tail and its wings it is good quality it does have this line there which I'm sure is not on purpose but that's just the way that the mold fits together I think that's how it was in the past as well and it's got a heart on it so that means it's also a family's pet and this came with some food for the horse and the woodpecker. You know, they eat fruit and vegetables, so there you go. I don't think you can actually feed a horse a watermelon. I've definitely never seen that or done that, but perhaps you could. So with that, I can get on to the prize packages. We'll move these guys backwards. And I'll grab the first one. I don't want to look at the barcode beforehand because I want to keep it a little bit of a surprise. So let's go. I will read the barcode to you guys after if you're curious. Oh, it's got a little bit of tape up top there. Okay, not too hard to get around. Let's see. Okay, it comes with a card, so I wonder if the card would spoil what it is. Maybe I'll show you guys the card, and then I'll open the pet. So I'm not looking at the card. I'll put that face down. It comes with a gold coin. And let's open it up. It looks like it's green. Oh, is it another chameleon? It is! Yay! Oh, look at that. That's fancy. It kind of looks like the yin-yang symbol. It's got it on the sides too. Oh, this is a lot of detail. I was worried because I think the surprise pack pets in the past were very boring. And these are very cute. And I will, again, I love the detail on the chameleon. This one has purple eyes. It's got light purple and then dark purple. It's kind of like a pastel green. I think I thought it would be brighter like a frog green, but it's more of a pastel green. Oh, this one might be one of my favorites. It's really cute. We'll put him back there. And let's see, was the card of the chameleon? It was. Okay, so if you want to really go for a surprise, don't look at the card beforehand because it will just spoil what you're going to get. And as well, it comes with a collection manual. And did it come with a coin? I think we did grab a coin out of it before. Okay, I said I would share the barcode on that. Okay, so that was number 13. If anyone is wondering where I'm looking, I'm looking at this number right here before the ES. Because there's 18 different pets, they wanted to ensure that you couldn't accidentally get doubles. So what you want to do is you want to check this barcode here and look for the two numbers in front of the ES. And make sure that you don't get doubles of any of them. Each one does correlate to a pet. So if you don't want the surprise element, if you want a specific pet, you could look them up. But I kind of wanted the surprise element. So I made sure to get ones with different barcodes, but I tried not to pay attention too much to which ones it would be. Obviously, I know number one is the panda. Like, 
Odo's Pet Shop always does that. And I have seen pictures online, so I do have an idea of what numbers are where, but I wanted to try and keep it a surprise. So that's also why I'm not checking the barcode right now. So I won't show you guys the card. We'll just open this together and we'll see. Is this the panda maybe? Oh, I think it is. There we go. Oh, the heart eyes are so cute. They are so cute. And it also dropped a little leaf, which makes me think that I missed something with the chameleon. I did. Okay, so this fell on the floor from the chameleon. So they both came with little leaves to chew on. I'm in love. It's so cute. I know some people got this early. Oh my goodness. And it even like swirls around the hearts. So this is clearly a friendliest pet. Oh my goodness. It's even got like two little hearts right above its eyes there. Its paws are so detailed. It's got just a tiny little tail. Oh, I love it. I love it. It is so cute. That's funny that we were just talking about it. So yeah, you can see right before the ES, it says zero one. So that's why that is a panda because that correlates to number one. And there she is. And there she is again. And a gold coin again. So I can bring out, you know, the sneak peek of all the other ones we're going to be opening today fun story. I went in, they had one of these about half full. You can see there's a little they have knocked over a lot of things. Fun videos for all. I guess we can see my cat now more. I'll move it over a little bit. That's not working. Okay, anyway, there's a Himalayan cat over there. And when I went into Toys R Us, this was almost empty and I grabbed some boxes making sure the barcodes were different and they all were. And then it was empty, so I looked behind it and there was another one behind it. I can open this box, I suppose. And behind had more, so I checked those to see and make sure that I got all different barcodes and I did, but I couldn't find number four number 15 or number 17 in either of them so I guess somebody went in and bought two copies of each of those or it was just a coincidence I'm not sure but then this stand was empty so I took it to check out and I asked if I could have it because I know like when Toys R Us gets them they get them in with the stand like they don't need the empty stand for anything and so they they had to check with management and then they decided that yes I could have it so that was exciting for me, especially because I couldn't get number four, which I think is... Oh, okay, I already know what this is. The crown goes with the corgi. Look at that. There's the corgi. Now, this one looks so much like the one from the $56 hamster set, which is a little bit disappointing because, like, I paid $56 for this. And this looks so similar to it. Like, it almost makes me just, like, was it worth it to pay $56 for this? Because I already had the hamster that came with it. And then this one looks just like it, and it was, what, $6? So, I mean, I guess their personalities are different. Like, that looks more like a diamond. So this one must be the fanciest personality, and this one must have the, um, hungriest person? No, this one's sportiest because of these in its ears. But like the bodies are pretty similar. I guess the more expensive one has pink toes. So that's good. It should be a little bit more fancy because it's so much more expensive. But on the back, they have like the exact same LPS. Their, their backs look the exact same. I mean, maybe they'll end up in the future being great. Like maybe one is more rare than the other one. Like I know the Great Danes. Um, if you get the 577 with the two different colored eyes, you know, that's so much more important than having the basically the exact same one, but just with two brown eyes. So, I mean, maybe the lightning bolt one would be worth it in the future, but I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think. And I'll move them out of the way. And, oh, I forgot to put the crown. So, I guess she's a princess. So, maybe it's fine. Maybe she's worth it because she's a princess. here we have a 
card and she's on her royal throne so that just confirms that she is definitely a princess and again a yellow coin They're taped together pretty tightly. And these boxes are more, they're like tiny boxes or tiny versions of the, oh, I already saw the card, but I won't show you guys. You guys can still have the element of surprise. These boxes are similar to the ones that the five packs came in. Okay, I'm happy I got this one because this is one of the ones I was hoping for. I do not have the bowl. I don't have any bowls yet. It definitely looks like it's wearing makeup because its body is like tanned where its body is kind of like peachy orange and then its face has like yellow. I don't know if you can tell, so you can see the back is orange and then its lightning bolt is yellow and the LPS is yellow. And as you turn it around, you can see it kind of, they did like an ombre on its face to make its whole face yellow. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it's cool. I definitely wasn't expecting it. I don't know if I noticed it from pictures or maybe I thought it was just the picture, but it's actually like its face is definitely a different color than its body. And then its hair is completely different and its horns are different. It looks a little bit interesting because it's a different color than its body. Like it looks like its head and its body don't quite go together, but I love the shape. The bowl shape is really cute and I like the lightning bolts. It's like a fast bowl, you know. And it comes with a trophy, so it's not only just the fast bowl, it is the fastest bowl, so that is great. And here is its card, it's number five, so that's great. Move that out of the way and grab the next box. So we've got this little box again. So yeah, I guess if anybody sees an empty um, case in Toys R Us, ask to have it. Because like they can't just sell the one pet there, but it's a whole pet shop. Like, so it's essentially free. Okay, this has like a board in it. Okay, I know I've seen online there's one that comes with a surfboard. So I'm guessing that's what this one is. Okay, here's the surfboard. And it feels small. Is it a chicken? It is. Oh, it's so cute. This one online, I think because it's it like gives the illusion of being tall because its body is like long and its feet are big, I don't know. But it's actually small. It's the same as the one that came with the French Bulldog pack. And it has a little surfboard. That is so cute. And it comes with a card that has its surfboard. See, it looks so much bigger in the card, I think. And it has a lightning bolt, so it's the sportiest pet. Comes with the collector's case and comes with a coin. And they all come with tissue paper that you can use to wrap presents for your friends if you want. And then you don't even have to go buy tissue paper. So that's great. And let's see what's in this one. I really wanted the pink anteater, but I have a feeling that that is one of the ones that I did not manage to get today. Which just means I'll have to make more trips back. So again, if you want anything, let me know. Ooh, this is a beautiful spaniel. I know some people online have the spaniel as their favorite, and it's got the little boat to go with it. The boat was also with a beach set. This She looks like she could go for the beach set. Her head, it bubbles a little bit. She's got lots of fur. Lots of fur, and she's got white LPS on the back, and she's got white tips on her ears. Whoop. Fall resistant. <laughs> and let's see what's next. Or I guess we got to look at her card. She's number 10. And yellow coin. Collector's thing. And so again, since she's number 10, right before the ES, it says 10. So if you're looking specifically for that one, then you can find the box and find where it says 10 or whatever number that you're looking for, which you can find online on the LPS Instagram or like if you have any of these it does have all of their numbers in there so you could find the number for the one you're looking for and buy that one which might have been what happened to me the reason that I couldn't find some I would encourage you guys to not try and buy like too many like I said there was a whole nother 
thing here left over so I didn't feel bad about grabbing as many as I did but people that don't know that all the little pet shops are different in here might have thought I was crazy buying 16 or 15 of them okay this comes with a cute little green bucket so if anyone knows which one comes with the green bucket you now know which one it is and oh there we go it's another Clydesdale so this one's also friendliest and it's also got the brown it's got the light brown and the dark brown so it's very cute this one is not quite as detailed because the other one had the darker um hooves this one it just has the same colored hooves as everything else but this one has a white nose so it's definitely different this one looks more masculine to me i think it will be her boyfriend i really like that one and the blue the blue eyes are nice it kind of this one's more like a springtime vibe. I, th I would say the other one's like a winter vibe and this one's kind of a springtime vibe. And here we've got his card. So as before, he is a friendliest pet and he's littlest pet shop number three. So again, you're looking for his barcode, just check. So this actually came wrinkled. So I've noticed before that the cards have come wrinkled. I guess this came wrinkled as well. I mean, no one's buying it for this specifically, but just something to note, I guess. Ooh, there's a lot of them. If any of you guys are watching at two times speed, you know, that, that works. I'm not talking super fast because it's too hard. I can't work too fast, but... Okay, who's in here? This feels like a cat. I'm guessing it's a cat. It's pink? Is it a possum? What is it? otter oh this is my favorite color oh she's so pretty and she comes with these pretty pink binoculars look at her she's so simple but honestly i think the simplicity is perfect kind of reminds me of a naked mole rat because it's just pink but like it's a very pretty pink i would call it like strawberry milk pink maybe some people would say it's bubblegum pink She's very pretty. I definitely like her. Can I, I'll set her up there so you guys can keep looking at her throughout. And let's look at her card. She is LPS number seven, so you can check before the barcode to get her. The little picture's cute. She's outside in the snow. So what otters like to do, collectors, and yellow coin for Roblox. Okay, I'll put these up there too. Who's next? Got another little case. I'm glad that they brought back the panda as the logo. I haven't, I stopped getting Lilith's Pet Shops for a while. When they switched to like the TV show and everything. But I like the nostalgia of the old one. I think they're very smart. Oh, I think this is the purple poodle. This one. It's, it's unique. This pink is not the same. This pink kind of looks like she's sick a little bit. <laughs> but um, I like her fur. It's very glossy. It's not quite like the kiwi bird. It's not the same purple as the kiwi bird. I can grab the kiwi bird real quick, show you guys. Um, the kiwi bird is more like dark indigo-y purple. This one's kind of more violet. And I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely has a glossy feel. And her hair matches these stars, so she's sassiest. And she's got purple eyes that match everything. I do like the curls. Maybe she just came from the salon or maybe she got like sunburned. That's why she's like pink, you know, and she comes with a little brush. Oh, and it matches her bows. That's really cute for people playing. They can brush her hair. I can put her up here too. She might not stand as well. Her feet are smaller, so she might be a little bit more of an unbalanced pet. But people making videos usually use the sticks above her head. It looks like she has shorter legs in this uh, photo, but that's not actually what she has. So she's LPS number two, which for all on the Instagram, you probably know. There's her little coin and her little collector card. Alrighty. Ooh. Oh, you can even check on the back if you're at the store and you forget which one what number the one that you're looking for is you can check on the back to see what number and then check the barcode accordingly if you're a parent like that could be good to make sure that you record the ones that you're buying for your kids so that you don't like accidentally get them the same ones and then they'll never know like they won't know the cheat code but you will and you'll be awesome 
Okay, so we got another little tiger. I don't know if I should call it a tiger or a jaguar because the original was the jaguar, but it's orange, so I feel like it's a tiger. It comes with a little basket of leaves, and it's got like the detailed fur here, but it's it's not like different colored fur. It's definitely not as detailed as the one that came in the two pack. Like this one has a different colored face. Um, I guess this one has different colored face, but the chest fur here is different colored and here it's not. This one has like a tip of its tail. This one, like the bottom, they didn't even paint the bottom half of the body at all. Like they just, they took the time on the head and then just slapped the bottom of the body on there. So I think if people are doing like custom painting, if they wanted to do a jaguar, I would custom paint over this one instead of the, the tiger one. This one doesn't get to go up on the thing. But what personality is he? Let's see. He is hungriest. I don't see the symbol on him. Oh, there it is. It's in his ears. That's where you see what personality he is. And he comes with a gold coin as well. All right. We're getting near the end, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me. Let me know if you think I should split these into more parts. Like previously, I had four parts for unboxing, but... I don't know if that was too hard to watch four videos, so if you want a longer video or if you like the shorter videos, I just completely obliterated that, so I guess my apologies to whoever put that together. Let's see who this guy is. It looks kind of greenish to me, I'm not sure, but I already got the chameleon, so it might- no, that definitely looks greenish. Does anyone else agree? Is there another green one? Oh, it's, it must be the caterpillar. This is the caterpillar. Oh, he's definitely sassiest. Look at that big, you know, star around him. His eyes match him. He's very well designed, I would say. Is this a caterpillar or like a millipede? It has a lot of legs. Or centipede? Something crazy. But I appreciate that they painted both its head and its body. It, it makes it seem like they put more thought into it. He's really cool. He's really sassy seeming, I would agree with them I, i'll put him up there or i'll put him down here maybe and he comes with a little green sip bottle which makes sense because he's green so it matches him and it's the perfect height to fit in his mouth so he can just sip on that his card is orange that's interesting okay i guess he's a caterpillar because he's with flowers and a butterfly i feel like he has a lot of legs for a caterpillar what do you guys think i thought caterpillars only had like six legs but i'm probably wrong roblox clutches all right we've got only a few more whoop the caterpillar does not want to be up there i'll put him down there then he can sip on his thing down there oh let's patch up i'm gonna try and eventually recreate the commercial i'm gonna get all of the ones from this release and recreate that commercial. That's my hope. I'm hoping I can trade with people from the other countries to get them. All right, we've got this little frosty bunny. This is a perfect winter bunny. It's got white and blue and it's got some snowflakes on its cheeks. So that means it is a chilliest pet. And I know people were wondering if this is removable or not. You probably figured it out already. Yes, it's removable. So there's its little scarf when it's on. There's its... Whoop. And when it's off. It's cute. I like it. It's it's a bunny. You know, I don't know if this is the exact same as the original bunny mold. I think it's similar. If not identical. There she is. She's number eight. That is my favorite number. She comes with a manual and a gold coin. I have so many of these manuals now. Unreal. What I think they should do is, you know how like sometimes stores have pamphlets and you can grab one if you want one? I think that's what they should do for the manuals so that they're not like wasting paper by having them everywhere. But I do think they're, people want them so they should have them like, like on the display case. There's like a section for manuals so if you want one you can grab one. Or checklists. I don't know why I'm saying manuals. Um, and then if you already have one, you don't have to have 500. Okay. Oh, 
it's the purple panda and she's got some pink in her ears and she's so cute and she comes with a little green leaf to eat as well i love the pandas they're so cute they definitely are nostalgic this one is new she's just a purple version of the other one He's, she's got the purple up there too she's purple and pink i think these colors look good on her her nose pink is actually different than uh her ear pink this one is like a, a hot pink and this one's more of like a neutral pink so that's interesting to note but she's very cute it looks like they messed up her paint a little bit on the side um but no biggie the lps matches her ears and she's cute and her card she is number 16 there we go that's her cute little card i think that suits her and collector manual roblox code all right we're getting to the end there let's see how many boxes are left in here we got one we got two. Oh, is there another one no there's no more okay so we have two more boxes here. Doo -doo -doo. All right, what does this feel like? I don't feel any ears. Oh, okay, this feels like a pelican. It looks pink, and it's a pink pumpkin. This is the same sort of pink as the um, as the poodle. I guess the poodle's a little bit more pink. They have the same color palette though, the pink and purple. So you could get both of them, and that would be cute together. Although this purple is actually quite different. The eyes purple is like similar, but this purple is. Uh, more like a brownie purple and this is a chiliest pet which is interesting and then i've seen some funny things online about how it has a dead bone but it's pretty it doesn't have eyelashes i would have thought maybe since it was pink it would have eyelashes but it's fine there's definitely like a purple theme going on i guess people really like purple makes sense it is a good color and we got the purple and pink it's number 11 and we've got the roblox code And last but not least, so it could be the shark, it could be the anteater, it could be the walrus, it could be the Himalayan cat. I think it's the shark. We will see. Ripping that box, eh? card blew out is definitely looks teal like a shark and it's got a surfboard okay this one i did smell some chemicals a little bit but nothing crazy okay it's kind of green it's like a, a sea foam green i would say and it's sportiest teeth very cute i like my yellow shark better but this one is very cute as well. and his card is shark there number 14 so that is all of the littlest pet shops that i got today there is a cat in here which i'll see if it's easy to get out oh she is tied in there they tied her in she cannot escape Oh, she's very pretty. Let me rip below. I don't know if you can see me doing this. I think it's a little bit too big and it's probably off the screen. Here we go. So we've got her out of the big box and now she's here. Let me untie her. This is the Himalayan cat. I really like that her eyes are a different color. I know LPS 577 is worth a lot, partially because of that and partially because of LPS popular. 
but she's very pretty. She's a Chilius pet. She's got the stars in her ears. She's got a brown eye, a purple eye, and they did paint both sides of her body. She gives me the same vibe as that horse with the light brown and the dark brown, and she's got this, this teal bow, which is like similar to this one. She is very cute. I definitely like her. So with that, I will say goodbye. I'll have Parker say goodbye for you. He's an old Lotus Pet Shop that you can compare the new ones to. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you're interested in receiving by mail some things from Canada that you can't get yourself, I do have these two available for now. I'm not sure they might be gone by the time you watch the video. But please follow me on Instagram at MJLittlesPetShop.